Greetings, role players, one and all. I am Arthur Maxson of the Brotherhood, and I'd like to chat a moment. When I was a young boy, my mother sent me to be raised under elder lions, where my father was polit politically assassinated. When his, or when his orders took him east, I was along for the ride among his company. Under his guidance, I was taught honor, brotherhood, and respect for not only those in my order, but for the common man in the wasteland. It was his guidance that helped me to become the man I am today. And when he passed from us, it was these very ideals that helped me to raise to the rank of elder at the tender age of 16. These values helped me to maintain the Aqua Pura project for everyone in the Capital Wasteland, to reunite the Brotherhood outcasts with us, and to push to trade and share our technology with the realms at large. I deeply care for every brother and sister of steel in my order. And friends, I'd like to extend that care and respect for you as well, dear role players. A vote for Steel is a vote for progress. I will see to it that player killers are hunted down. Roleplay hubs are patrolled and protected from trolls. Unity is established with the communities. Establish open communication between all realms. Only use force of action as a last resort. Seek out and re-educate purple Wookiees of all type the local realm's lore. Seek to work with game developers to innovate better experiences for all of us. Can a queen in a dying realm say that? What does a professor know of shielding role players from trolls and player killers? Can a pro can a pro player killer really have your back? And did a dictator ever really have the good best goals of people in mind? These are questions you, dear role player, must ask yourself on election day. Thank you for your time. This has been a message from the Brotherhood of Steel, the president of the multiverse. I am Arthur Maxson, and I approve of this message. This is RPMMO Radio. Do it live! I'll write it, and we'll do it live! A podcast all about roleplay and MMORPGs. I like what you got. Good job. With your hosts, Ash and Phoenix, Sid, Jazz, Strafe, and Kishness. Everybody, stop. We, 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 we need to go on a quick adventure. Hello, roleplayers. Welcome to RPMMO Radio. This is our 55th, 55th, 55th. 50 suffering <laughs> fucker cast for 55th episode. Very oh, nice. Oh, well uh, 50 fumpfith? 55th episode. Fumpfith and fumpfith. Okay, what episode is this? <laughs> I am channeling the spirit of Mike Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> it's, our it's our 55th episode. You know, when you're fighting somebody, like whether it's a pillar of a community or not... Uh, you can't you can't put them up on a pedicure. You know you gotta you gotta bring them down to your level. You can't have them up on a pedicure. Otherwise, you, you, you in your head, they're up higher than you, and you can't have that. Way to go, Ash! And now we just lost Mike Tyson as a as a listener. Way to go! With a Super. bite to the ear, no less. Yeah. So, <laughs> episode fifty-five for those of you that speak the Queen's English, pillar <laughs> or punching bag. I, of course, am one of your hosts, Ashen Phoenix, and with me, as always, is the peanut gallery, Jazz Sib Strafay, and our call screener, Yoon Fei, back from her mysterious adventure in the Far East, where she found me, the Jade Monkey, by the next full moon. It was in the glove compartment. Ooh. They put Kishmas back in the dungeon. Actually, a uh, sad thing about Kishmas, he, he definitely won't be here tonight, um... He saw one of those robotic sex robots from Japan, and he thought oh, he no. could rebuild that using only his computer parts and rolls of duct tape. Uh, it turns out he is neither uh, Japanese, a computer expert, or a robotics expert. And uh, basically, he just uh, had a bunch of computer parts duct taped together and, and was, was using them like a sock puppet. He's, oh! going from, he's going from bad to worse, man. I know. <laughs> it was it's awful. Or actually his uh, motherboard and everything else it had completely fucked up and he's waiting for parts to come in from as he <laughs> called it FedEx Express, which 
if you actually say it out loud, is FedEx Express Express or Federal Express Express. No, that that's just a cover story. Yeah. Of course, then he also realized that his title is like technical assistant assistant. So <clears throat> the world makes no sense anymore. So we're glad to have everybody here today. Uh, of course, you are listening to us live. If you're listening to us live, if you're not, you're listening to us on a podcast. And it could be any day of the week. You could be listening to us right now in your hot tub. Bubbles turning, little bits everywhere, fecal matter floating around you. Look it up, hot tubs are disgusting. Ah! Ew. That. Why would you go there, sir? Why Why would you go in a hot tub? It's going to haunt gross. my dreams, bro. They're awful, especially if you go to one in a hotel. God, uh. God have mercy on your soul. What is wrong with you, you sick, twisted freak? <laughs> <sighs> so where was I? Oh, yeah. yeah. So you can listen to us, uh, you know, on our uh, on podcast apps, anywhere uh, free podcasts are sold, of course. Uh, and you can always listen to us every single Saturday, uh, except when you can't, uh, 7 Central Time, here at twitch.tv slash rpmmoradio. Uh, that's, that's where you go there. Um, when you're there, you give us a follow, uh, give us a subscribe, just as, uh, who are these people? Let's see here. As uh, William Hoen. Uh, Napfed, which, by the way, I love that name. Napfed. Napfed. Like an you're you're fed by naps. I'm assuming. That's, yeah, that's awesome. I like that's that. Pretty one. clever. Okay. I like it. Pretty... I like it. In uh, uh, Abo, uh, sorry, dude. Abo Monas. Uh, Abo Mon or o Obo Monas. I don't know. I'm terrible with names, and I'm uh, I barely have the most basic graphs of the English language, as we... you heard with fifty fifth episode. It is guaranteed we will butcher your name here on oh, MMO yeah. RP Radio. That's right, Strafe E. That's right. <laughs> Gotta remember that E. That's right, Jazz I B. <laughs> or Sib <Yeah>. Sib Because <sighs> the H the H you gotta emphasize the H. The H is not silent. You put the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllable. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh man, I am, I, I'll be honest with you guys, man. I am freaking tired. I do not know what is wrong with me this week, but I, I, I feel like I've, I'm hitting second puberty where you just gotta sleep all friggin' day for no reason. Ah, oh, it's been both horrible and everything I had hoped it would be. Just it's been a sleepy napping. freaking week all week, bro. I don't know what it oh. is. Sorry, you gotta. I was reading something Sib said. She she's bad mouthing me in the chat. Cause she doesn't have the lady balls to do it on the show. Yeah, that's right. I'm reading. No, it's because I can't get a word in it twice. Shut up! No one is talking to you, woman. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're gonna get it. I'm gonna jump back to the 1950s. If I want to hear something you have to say, I'll let you know when you can say it and see, what it she, will be. She is supposedly the nice one until yeah. we get off the air. Oh, then yeah, God help the soul. She's what? She, she's mean. <laughs> she beats me because she loves me. Oh, no. <laughs> Battered hundred husband syndrome. It's <laughs> so bad. There, there, Ashen. You'll make it. She once asked me if she wanted, if if I wanted a turkey or ham, and I said ham, and she's like, we don't, <laughs> we don't have any ham. No, 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 no. I said, do you want, do you want a turkey, chicken dinner? <laughs> and you said this. You said, what? oh no, I lost it. Never mind. I give up. <laughs> and that's you know why I'm you know that, the comedian. Right? <laughs> Quote unquote. It was an RP thing, and now I forgot how it went. I couldn't remember if it, if it was supposed to be a chicken dinner or a fish oh, dinner. That and one. it was yeah. assumed oh, to God. be something That else. was a chicken dinner. She made that's... a chicken dinner for okay. Trithalis, and Trithalis didn't come oh. home. Oh. So. <laughs> She was upset because she had slaved and made it perfect just the way he liked it with all his accoutrements. And he didn't show up, so she had to put it away. And they were all sitting at the table, and he's like, well, the chicken dinner tastes wonderful. And she bursts into tears and says, this is fish! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> see, see I, I didn't, that didn't happen to me. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I was talking about in real life. That's, that's, a, ro <laughs> that's a role play story I, I failed to mention on our <laughs> I upcoming bet. What did we do on roleplay? Because it was too funny 
you had experience it, it to, uh, oh. to get it. I was crying through that that little episode. Yes, and yes. <laughs> my joke is from a comedian who said he always loved watching watching his dad grow up because he's you know he his he didn't give a shit and his mom would always test him. She'd be like from the kitchen, "What do you want? You want a sandwich? Yeah. You want turkey or ham? Ham. We don't have any ham." And she, he just. <laughs> She'd do it just to watch him go crazy. The fuck you asking me if we have ham if we don't even have any ham? <laughs> that would be my reaction. <laughs> you want turkey? I, I just thought I love that. You want turkey or ham? Ham. We're out of ham. <laughs> Why did you ask? I think that would make my eye twitch. Just that would be so bad. Mm. Oh man. Um. So all right. So yeah. Um. Follow us there. Uh. You know if you uh. You want to subscribe to us with uh, Amazon Prime if you've got one, or just you know just follow the podcast. Join us. Uh, you can also help call in on the show and tell us any stories you have that might be prevalent. Uh, unfortunately, no calling in about dead, unknown. Uh, what was it? Celebrities that have absolutely uh, nothing to do with anything, like uh, oh the eleven-year-old trying to last Can I just week. say, okay, if you're an eleven-year-old, yes, we will not let you on the show. Not unless it's role play related. I, I, I'm willing oh, to do it. No. I'm, wi- I'm willing to let an 11 no. year on if they're like, yes, hello there. I'm calling about role play. If they're British. And how many 11 year olds know? Do you know that talk like that? British ones. All of them. All the British ones sound okay. like that. It's give me a name. I want a name. What? Jeeves. 11 year olds. Jeeves. <laughs> like crap. Jeeves. I don't know any 11 year old British kids that could call in. How many? You don't know how many British kids I know. <laughs> Something you want to tell us there, Ashen? <laughs> that doesn't sound good when you say no. That it out. doesn't, Ashen. It's that's a little. <laughs> it's a little Kevin Spacey-ish. Yeah, that's not. Yeah, uh, just a little. Just looking for that little mushly on paper boy. Shame. Mm-hmm. Oh Shame Bell. Shame. <laughs> but to be fair, yeah, she's probably right. I'm not going to let a lot of eleven years on here because uh, they're all fucking stupid. Oh, stop. What? They are. Have you ever had an intelligent conversation with an 11-year-old? They're all like... I have an 11-year-old, and yes, they can be intelligent. Guys, let me point point out to you the various times your 11-year-old ran in citing complete, (laughs) ridiculous, useless nonsense. Yes. And you just nodded and were like... And you were like, "Uh uh-huh, that's real sweet, and I'll leave. Yeah, yeah, I do. But I have had conversations with them. That well, I'll tell people. you what. If we ever want to switch this conversation over to Fortnite, we can have your 11-year-old on. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, he's 13 now. But Whatever. Yeah. You saw that I posted? <laughs> that was funny. Yes, I did see that. And it is unfortunately true. It's funny because it used to be it used to it was Ninja Turtles. It was Transformers. Then it was Pokemon. Then it was Yu-Gi-Oh! And now it's Fortnite. Yeah. Yeah. Kids are awful, and they talk about really boring things, and they don't even tell a cohesive story. Kind of like us. Huh. <laughs> hmm. I wonder yeah. about that. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Well, there's all that. That was fun. Um, and, of course, I want to give a special thanks to our uh, all of every single one of our Patreon donors, uh, even those that have tried. But thanks to Patreon. Uh, right now, we only have one at the raid boss level, and that's the truth, Bob. Um, others have dropped off, but it's just fine. But uh, some of them, I think, had every intention of being that, but because Patreon uh, is both dumb, or, or it's not dumb, but they moved their headquarters over to Europe, and now PayPal was apparently, and this we we it wasn't so much affected us. But what did you just say? That Patreon moved over to Europe. Yeah, but keep going. After that, did you say you PayPal? PayPal? PayPal. You said pa- PayPal. <laughs> PayPal. You said it weird. You yeah, you said PayPal. 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 <laughs> Thank you. I thought I'm like, well, I'm, yeah, because I- they're <laughs> over in Europe, so they have the PayPal stuff now. They're near the Pope. They're closer uh-huh. to God. Unlike you, you filthy heathen. <laughs> oh, okay. That makes no sense. Yeah, go see, for it. UK okay. has it. You you steal from Peter to pay Paul. PayPal. Oh yeah. my God. <clears throat> that was awesome. Actually, okay. she didn't say that. She just said but she was mocking me. I just turned it around. That I'm not going to pick on Yoon Face. She's had a rough week. But that, that's what you said was PayPal. PayPal. Yeah, because it's PayPal. You, you, like, there's amazing PayPal You're boots. really having a little trouble tonight. I, mean, I am really, really tired. Did I mention that part where I was really tired? <laughs> yeah. You, you did may mention have mentioned that, part. that 
Yeah. So uh, apparently Patreon moved over to Europe, and now PayPal, uh, for all those people that are getting charged, it's uh, denying it because it's an un- it's a like a strange overseas charge now. So oh, apparently, fantastic. like people, like we we you know we we do. Sorry. All right, that was random. <laughs> I uh don't want to know, but. <laughs> I was popping this. My Gatorade had a dent in it, and I didn't like it. <laughs> sure it did, darling. Sure it Sound did. You okay, shit. Ashley? <laughs> she, she, she told me I fell down the stairs. I'm oh sorry. Go get eyes for your face, bro. I know I'll what happened. okay. Uh, but, yeah, so it's not so much affected <laughs> us. We, I think we had one person that got had a problem with that, but there's people that make thousands of dollars on Patreon, and they went from they, – they got, like, a quarter of what they would usually get because of something like that. So yeah, that's a bad one, especially for that's people. That's a wee that, bit annoying. Yeah, yeah, yeah they live off of annoying. their that that kind of stuff. Their their projects and their their art or what I don't know whatever the hell people use Patreon for. Porn, I don't know. Um, <laughs> so yeah, but I appreciate everybody. Truth, Bob, you the man. Uh, appreciate everybody else that uh, helps yes. support the show both financially and just by listening to it. I mean, you know, awesome. Appreciate it. Uh, so so I don't go can continue to ramble on here. Let's go ahead and see what we've been doing in role play. Now, um, I know last year we had a or last week we had the the mailman come. Um, and this this week, oh, it's my oh, come here, Fred, come here, Fred, come here. She's come like, huh? No, oh, I ain't oh, coming here. Oh, oh, it's Spanky. Okay, Spanky. Oh, for those on the camera, you can see this big fat lug. All right, Spanky. When I am pointing at names. You stare blankly in like an idiot oh, God, into the he's camera, so cute. and then oh, right there, that one, is that the one you want? Okay, yeah. According to Spanky, Jazz has to go first. Good choice, man. Good choice. <laughs> Good job, Spanky. He weighs a metric fuck ton. Oh my God, I think I have a hernia now. <laughs> All right, so Jazz, what have you been doing in role play? <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. When she laughs, it makes me laugh. <laughs> Stop laughing, Jess. I'm trying. <clears throat> okay. Um. Okay, we're gonna do this like a newscast. <sighs> Kia Karis be- bears the best news this week, having born her child a daughter and named her Zoe. Her daughter was born a week late, and though hard labor was an uncomplicated delivery, suckled immediately and soon to give her parents fits of no sleep and a learning curve to frighten most. On an OOC level, much rejoicing has been heard as I am no longer in preg ERP, which drives me insane almost as much as actual pregnancy did. <laughs> I was there during yeah. one of them. I can, can I, yes. I can, yeah. <laughs> Was not fun. No. Uh, Sial continues to heal from her wounds. Her broken neck now fully healed up and with a clean bill of health from her healer, physically at least. <laughs> she is still learning to walk again and uses some unique crutches her mentor Trithalis made for her, which at which end at a grip for her hands and then curl around her lower arms for support. Her metal, mental scars will be the next hurdle and addressed soon as they are currently hidden from view. But not for long. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Sully continues to manage her growing power base using spies and gathered intelligence to keep an eye on things in her Talani group. She's continually testing loyalty and trustworthiness of her allies and associates, naturally vigilant in such things due to her mother's violent poisoning death by the very people she trusted. Sully may have trust issues. Sully is determined not to go out like that. She says, I will see it coming or it will not come until age is given my soul. She really believes this, poor thing. (laughs) <laughs> she is determined to stay in her position of power earned and constantly watches everyone around her. Zasher struggles with internal demons from his past, as well as managing to fit in with the temple and servants of the tribunal within the group he settled into. He secured a dinner date with two lovely Mur that he works with so that he and Kiz can double date and enjoy the company of these fine females. A wedding last week and a visitation from Talvani into the Abbey promoted a situation where Zasher offered to punch a clergy who was demanding to be punished, but stopped himself at the last moment in time to see that it would have been a grave mistake. The clergy was sequestered due to her need to be punished, and Zasher learned an important lesson about sticking to his gut instinct. The end. 
Da nice. and <laughs> well, very good. Very well done. Very well Thank done. You. Very well done. Uh, I, I swear you guys are making me feel like a slacker because you guys are typing this stuff up and like you're being pros and I'm I don't I don't I'm just it's sad. It's all right. I'm amazing uh, enough for both of us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> <clears throat> all right. Well, anyway. Uh, I got, I'll go. I'll go next because uh, who doesn't want to hear me talk like a woman? <laughs> Show of hands. Oh, that is a sea of hands. Wow, that is a that is a vast ocean of hands. So anyway, uh, uh, a lot happened with Tarvala this week. So I'll just read her journal because it's uh, easier, and I'm lazy than uh, making up a story. So, <clears throat> hello, Mister Journal. Things are about to change forever. I was promoted to High Ordinator of War this week. I've worked so hard for this, but I don't know if they... I didn't know if they would think I was ready for it yet or not. Apparently, they did. I think I knew, but self-doubt is an ever-present shadow like a parrot on a pirate's shoulder. Always there, squawking into your ear and shitting on it. It's always been a very dizzy. It's it's always been very. It's actually been very dizzying since Mundus, catching up on the current troop movements, worry spots, scout reports, and the list of a hundred other things. As long as uh, Bull Netch's tentacle, getting there though, I can I can't write about much of it here as movements are classified. And while I doubt highly anyone would ever get a hold of this, it's not worth the risk. Ha. <laughs> I know top secret information I can't even share with you, Mr. Journal. Don't worry, I'll keep you in the loop as best I can, though. For example, I've started to work on an area for the war ordinators and others, if they need it, to use. It's going to have places indoors to fight, fists and weapons only, no magicka because, you know, indoors. A place to eat and gather, a map of the lands in a secure location for my office off-site, uh, off the up, uh, outside of the upstairs floor of the abbey. I'll have one of the desks there still, but largely just make it to reports easier to find their way to me. This place will be a good deal more secure. Uh, it's so strange to put on that silver armor after so long taking orders from many good and eh, a few very bad high ordinators and one particularly horrible commander, not Regier, surprisingly. I have worked my way into those ranks without political connections, backstabbing fellow ordinators, or making deals. Just hard work and proving myself. It feels pretty good, actually. So much of my life has been miserable for the sake of others, others largely being my mother, but still. Going to the clergy and having my marriage arraigned to an indrill, to leaving it all behind and following my strengths and desires. Not my heart. People always say, follow your heart. But I've seen a lot of people that end up miserable and often divorced following their heart. No, follow your strengths and your desires. Your heart might tell you you can sing when you actually sound like a guar in heat. Careful with that thing. It can be a little cruel. Oh, and one last thing. I finally told someone about my sword, the Ashen Phoenix. Dravis actually noticed that he had changed again. I'm not about to lie to my commander after just being promoted, so I finally came clean about the sword. I could tell he was really dubious and worried it might be heretical, but after explaining it, he agreed it likely wasn't. I even offered to take it to Valine in the Inquisition, but he v vetoed that as an unnecessary need for now. I'm not sure what prompted the morphing this time, other than the promotion. It always seems to know these things and adapt accordingly. It happened, it went from a, a thick, heavy blade that was, you know, to one that was uh, far thinner, lighter, with an edge only on one side and a slight curve to it. <laughs> Sounds like a few men I know, actually. Anyway, yeah. I'll have a <laughs> bit of practice and I think I'm going to get to like it. It's faster and versatile, but we'll see. As for now, Mr. General, I got reports to read. Sigh. Okay, so that's me. There's mine. <laughs> awesome. Les sigh. Les sigh. So, Sib, how about you? Okay. okay. I've had a lot of 
I've had another full week of our piece. I had actually got on Nyth, my ordinator character, this week, and uh, I attended a wedding of two of the ordinators. Uh, I felt like it was the right thing to do because it was uh, Malel and Aaron's who were getting married, and uh, Malel was one of the characters that Nyth has gone through all her trials with, has had a lot of uh, just a lot of highs and lows with, and uh, I felt like it was just, you know, it would be something she would attend. Then I was able to uh, also RP with Tervis, who is her in-game love interest, and it was nice to be able to hang out and uh, we went to the open air halal, halalu market in Nisus and uh, did just kind of looked around, which was really a lot of fun. It's uh, I don't I'm not for sure what guild hosts it, but they have it kind of just set up where there's booths and everything, and you can go around and just look around. And uh, they purchased some wine, some candles. Some, can- some wine from an orc, some candles from some Aragonians, and a tapestry to put up in Tervis's room. And then they went back to uh, Knight's barrack room and just hung out and talked, which was really nice because I hadn't got to hang out with him in quite a while because he's upside down. And I'll show you is what we always say. But it was just nice to hang out with him. Then... Uh, on my little clergy, Kilvin, I taught a class, which I am not a huge event runner. It's not something I, nor- I, you know, I do. I'm not real comfortable with it, but it was just a small class, and I had set it to hopefully run about an hour. But it was basic healing 101, where I know in ESO and a lot of uh, fantasy lore, or fantasy, yeah, fantasy lore games, you have magic to do a lot of the healing in a, or it, in ESO, you have magic, you have uh, scrolls, you have potions. And uh, Kilvin, during the class, one of somebody had asked the question, you know, what about potions? And she's like, but what if you don't have those? Or, you know, what if you've lost them? What if something has happened and you don't have your scrolls and potions to fall back on? You really should know how to tend to a wound. So she went over the basic 101 of tending to it. Like, you always want to make sure you clean it out. And uh, she was using a, like a one foot by one foot chunk of guar meat and uh, doing her little demonstration on and everything. And I think it turned out good. Everybody seemed pretty positive about it. She showed him how to actually stitch the wound and then go on to uh, bandage the wound. So... After all that, I was chatting with uh, her mentor, basically, Acolyte Rawls, who is supposed to be teaching her the way, you know, what she needs to know to be a, to move up to Acolyte and then so on. And uh, (laughs) they were standing there talking and uh, the curate came down and she basically put Kilvin in charge of the infirmary until further notice, which was a huge shock because I'm like, uh, didn't expect this, <laughs> but I told him I'd roll with it and see where it goes. And, uh, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of being in a, uh, leadership role or being in charge of anything just because my time to play is limited. And I play, I have two guilds that I actively role play in. I have Mm -hmm. uh, several RP friends that I have active storylines going with. So, but we'll see where it goes. I'm excited. It made me feel good because if I was like, okay, I did good on teaching this. And then uh, my other character, Voli, who's my orc, I have been uh, doing a lot of RP with Trithalis, who is Strafe's character and we've really kind of pushed the romance on those two and it's it's 
been so much fun and so different for me and I've really enjoyed it. I mean, it's it's like a soap opera. <laughs> I think Sir Faye said that earlier. That's like the days of our lives, but mm -hmm. I just really had a lot of fun with it. The and days it, of our mirror. Or Telemundo. Last, yeah, last night they had got into it. <laughs> Everything's been going really smooth, but last night, his character is just so proper. sweet. Yeah, proper. Thank you. Just so proper and sweet, and he's always complimenting her. Well, from her past, she's not had a good past, and so, and she's heard, you know, people like up in Rift, when I've been up there RPing, I've had a few people be like, you know, hey, pig nose, what are you doing in our bar? And I'm like, uh, I just RP it out that she, you know, she's like ignores them, but you know, she's an orc. So she knows that how she looks and from her past, she's, you know, had a lot of trouble because of, especially her, she's an albino orc. And so she's all white. And so she just looks different. She's different from orc. She's different from, you know, everybody. So, but it's, it's fun and I'm excited to see where this goes, and like I said last night, they had a huge fallout, and so now we're gonna see. I don't know, but with the dice and his fiery words, it just set her off. So, but that's my role play. Uh, Hope it wasn't too long. Someone's Sorry. in the doghouse. <laughs> he is indeed. Hey, what are you gonna do now? He's gonna try something. This, this is why I tell you, uh, invest in paper bags. Just put it overhead. That way, you're not. <laughs> You don't, oh, no. you don't need to. You don't feel obligated to compliment her to overcompensate for that face. That's so mean. What? It is Not... so mean. She's what? beautiful. Oh yeah, it's what I think of when I look at wild boar too. Oh stop! Cock did you yours. say wild boar? Hmm? He did. He did punch him for me. Oh. If I could reach you, my what are you looking at? <laughs> So, Strafe, uh, <clears throat> sounds like you got some ditch digging to do. Uh, <laughs> what have you been doing in role play? <laughs> when, you're in the, when you're in the ditch or the hole, the best way to go about it is to dig yourself a staircase right out of the hole. That's right. So let's see what have I been doing. Monday I wasn't here. Ah, Trath RP. Well, let's read that. Oops. Mm -hmm. Thos held his Order of Aldmeris Poetry Hour on time, as he does every week. The turnout was slow at first, but soon blossomed to a full house. Just when things looked to be an ordinary evening, the Orc, maiden, the orc War Maiden Voli strode in, clad in war leathers, carrying twin swords, and a plethora of pale skin showing here and there. This caused him to smile just so, despite himself. And so the night began. Lord Stranrick regaled the gathering the latest song, Lord Daltory, could be counted on to issue a thoughtful, provoking lament. I, of course, started them all off with a cheerful verse, The Merits of Young Love. The night wore on, and all seemed to be happy with their lot, when finally the last guest departed. He was yet again alone with the object of his desire affections. She seemed to read his mind, as she wore quite the grand visage upon her face, tusked and accentuating her fair features. What followed was, of course, a tender moment, a bite, and a gentle mirror shall never kiss and tell on such details. I later sought counsel with my oldest friend, Lady Sully, on the matter of an unhealthy infatuation. I, of course, told her of my fears, age, outliving her. If I was being honest about things, she smiled and informed me that I was simply feeling guilty over loving an orc woman more than my dearly departed Lady Farrah. I believe she told me in her colorful way to stop being stupid. Ghastly, really. Terrible woman. Unfortunately, such grand designs took a turn for the distasteful in the following few days. I seem to have crossed a line, striking a nerve, if you will, on complimenting her on her beauty. This caused, caused quite a grand argument, one in which my charms failed to convince her of the latter. She informed me that we were wrong and something about a curse. She stormed off into the evening storm, and I was left most distraught. And that was my RP for the week. Hey, well then. You guys are making me feel bad. <laughs> oh, I don't... I'm writing a story next week. Damn it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't wait to hear it. It'll be like, yeah, a stupid elf boy. 
He sent flowers. I fed him to my horse. What an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I could do a good orc voice. It'd have to be kind of choppy. I'm an orc. Give me some of the <laughs> You need something to throw at him, like uh, old shoes. Just I'm, like go to Goodwill, not, buy some old shoes. I'm not pretty. I'm, I'm an orc. Mm. Just go watch any war. Get Ray Bottle for the win. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine they talk something like this with their I'd have to have their teeth out in the front of them in a very gravelly sort of voice. <laughs> Is that better? I can't I'm not yeah. gonna do a female version. I they all sound the same. Oh, <laughs> so, uh, so well good job everybody. That sounds like we have another good week of role playing. So with that, let us go to our sponsor for this episode from the company known as Crapco. Hey, Dick Winkleman here with an exciting new product from Crapco. Makers of world-famous products like ghost paper, lip balm, and the ever-popular do-it-yourself dentist comes community punching bags. These lifelike inflatable wonders can take a licking and keep on ticking. Like all community leaders across everything from raiding to roleplay, dungeon grinding, and crafting, and even erotic RP, RP, any cream that rises to the top gets slammed down by those around it like a bad game of whack-a-mole. With Crapco's new community punching bags, you can make that one person everyone looks up to your own personal bitch. Our amazing technology lets you print out their faces on an 8x10 piece of paper using our, using your own printer rather, and using our proprietary tape technology to place it on our cylindrical blow-up replica so that you can punch them one proper right in there over snooty mouths. It's even weighted at the bottom so that every time they stand right back up so you can throw them down again, just like you do verbally in every game, every night, because look at them. Why wouldn't you? Those smug pieces of shit have it coming. So call now for your very own community punching bag. Get one for $19.99 or a dozen for $249.99. What a bargain. Don't delay. Buy one today from Crapco. <laughs> mm. Yes, sir. Sounds like a real deal right there. Don't you know? Passing that deal. No, that's that <laughs> right there is a good basic math. You should always, if there's one thing I've learned, you always get the bundles. In that right, Costco and Sam's Club. <clears throat> always check that stuff. It's not always cheaper. Just make just good, 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 good financial advice. It's true. And besides, if you really need a 55-gallon uh, drum of mayonnaise, you should probably look at your life choices. Yeah, I have to agree with you there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like my mayo, but... That's a little much. It's yeah. a little much. Yeah, that's a good way to put that, a little much. So, um... This uh, this topic actually was brought to us by a listener who has to remain anonymous, which is totally fine. When we say that we'll keep your secret, we mean we'll keep your secret. Um, so the 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 thing that they had is uh, pillars of the community. Now I, I use that term with quotation marks uh, because we've actually. Uh, I've seen people use that term like I'm a pillar of the community, and if you have to say that. Eh, you're not a very good pillar of the community, uh, for one. But there are always people, you know, it, it happens in everything. You know, it happen there's tw people on Twitch, for example, you know, the the ninjas and the, the ones that, that get up there that, you know, really can make or make or break things for, for people. And they're, for the most part, most of them are pretty cool. And then every now and then you, you get some pretty shitty ones, uh, you know. But even the best of the best that, that really are just doing it for fun, they're there for entertainment... Um, 
there's always somebody that wants to watch them fall. You know, there's it's the same thing for Hollywood actors, uh, sports people, politicians. But I mean, they all have it coming because they're all dirty scumbags. <clears throat> No, it's not personal opinion. That's just a straight out fact. Uh, so, <laughs> but you know, every time that stuff happens, uh, there's any time you do a lot for a community or you 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 do a lot of uh, in our case role play and things like that. You, you people, there's a handful of people that tend to get a pretty good name. They get a good reputation and they kind of rise up above the others a little bit. And they, for the most part, a lot of them try to do the best they can with what they, what they've been given. Cause you're only in that position because the people, like we say in all role play, it doesn't exist if the people around you don't allow it. So with that also comes, you know, the higher you are kind of the higher target you are. So, um, like I was saying, so some role players, you know, they get active, they, they, they play games, they love the RP <clears throat> and that as they tend to get, known and rise towards the top uh you know that you could like we said we could you could call them pillars it's not my favorite thing you could say they're well known or famous uh, community leaders is another really popular one um all of them really kind of apply in different ways um whatever you whatever you want to call them but they do tend to exist in almost every community and you know doesn't really like i said it doesn't really matter where it's at um in this case this particular listener um uh, does it because they, you know, they love what they do and knowing where they come from too. I can, I, I can, you know, say pretty certainly that that is absolutely true. Um, but it also can be lonely at the top. Like we've mentioned with, uh, guild leaders and things like that. Everyone always thinks, Oh, it so must be so awesome. Nope. It's not, but it's <laughs> not always, uh, the, like the you said, you people delight to see you fall. I don't know what it is, but they, yeah. they just like to see somebody of that stature fall in the mud. Yeah, well, it's 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 a it's a really unfortunate thing, and and I know here in America for sure, but I'm fairly certain it's worldwide. I, I think it's just the we have far too much time on our hands, at least in first world countries. You know, you third world countries, you're, you're just trying not to drink your own feces because you know they're the same water source, and uh, that's awful, and we feel bad for you. Um, you should donate to people that have to do that. It's awful. Um, <laughs> well, now that I've brought the whole show to a screeching halt with reality. But no, it, it, I really think people just, they have so much damn time on their hands anymore that they they pick these stupid things like this and they see something, someone rise to the top, be whatever profession they're in. And there's nothing more that that people love to do than look up to their heroes in awe and inspiration and draw from that. And then... Except, of course, the, the, the part where the other thing they like more than even that is watching that hero uh, crash to the earth like a meteorite and uh, fall in a blazing ball of glory. I don't know. I don't know what people get out of watching, you know, wanting other people to fail like that. But it is an unfortunate thing, you know. Uh, so, like I was saying, so this uh, they, they, this particular listener, they love what they do. Um, but lately, they've they've started finding themselves maligned, shamed, uh, feeling needless hatred directed towards them for like no reason at all, other than that they're just you know they're slightly higher profile than some other people. So that high profile puts a target on your back, you know. You know, tall guy in the crowd kind of sticks out a little bit more. It's easier to throw a pop bottle at him during a concert. Not that anyone should ever do that. Don't throw pop bottles; they hurt. Isn't that right, Sib? What? I don't know what you're talking about. Exhibit A. <laughs> Where'd you get that Gatorade bottle? Uh-huh. Man. Yeah, it, it hurled at my head shortly, about what? five, ten minutes ago. Mm-hmm. Huh. <clears throat> yeah. I just saw on the Twitch channel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. Mm-hmm. Battered mm-hmm. husband syndrome rolling in Telling action. You. Shush you. <laughs> but um, to the to the point at it, you know they they're such a target at this point that they uh, they didn't want to use their real name because um, they they didn't want it to get out and cause more trouble. They're afraid of causing more trouble. They're trying to tap it down, not make it worse, which uh, is the difference between usually a good a good uh, leader and a bad one. Uh, but at the same time sucks away all the fun and love they've had and and they have to deal with it instead of doing what they want they're they're stuck dealing with this bullcrap and 
you know, like I said, and we're we're not gonna when we if anybody ever has something that you guys want to bring to us like this, we're more than willing to talk about it. In fact, we usually tip. We'll probably unless we have other stuff already planned, we we'll we'll move it towards the top of our queue of of shit to talk about. Mm-hmm. But uh, this one here in particular, I think is fairly important too because, um. I mean, we've I've I've seen it firsthand, Jazz. I know at least as a guild guild leader, you've had it happen to you, <laughs> where you've been, you know, you've been needlessly maligned. You've had for webs- years, yeah, websites built around your guild saying all sorts of false accusations from people that just have nothing better to do with their time. I and, found those sites back in the day, up. and it was horrible. And that was before oh, yeah. I was in the guild, oh, they, and they put vile, st- vile pictures and things. Very like, vile I mean, it stuff. It was vile. Yeah. It made and the then people, later, made our trolls look hand. look like, oh, well, that's where you guys went. Yeah, and then after I was in the guild, later those same sites were then featuring some of my RP in that, trying to destroy jazz. Mm-hmm. It was bad. Yeah, yeah, and it's there's it's just no point to it. Um, <clears throat> and you know what I find amazing is that, like jazz, she doesn't let it stop her. So I, I, I mean, kudos. It's a near thing because I don't think I could do it. Yeah. It almost did. Uh-huh. Um, as Ashen and Rangots can attest to, it about broke me. Oh yeah, it, but it's it's hard. I finally that. gathered up my. I got pissed. I stopped feeling. She sad pulled up her and panties and angry. tightened that bra, yep. and she went to battle. <laughs> she don't got mad, got mad. Put on them combat boots, and she said, yeah. I, uh, "I ain't you ain't gonna pull me down." Well, I mean, it, it, not to not to not to you know not to give too much credit to it, but uh, if you if you give in to them, uh, the 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 terrorists win. <laughs> That's right. You, you can't know, let them win. And it, for, you brought out Strafe's hick. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, I'll tell and that's you what. exactly what I was told by the two men in this group right now. Mm-hmm. It's like, um, are you going to let those... Almost as if they were talking to each other, but it was separately. Mm-mm. They both said the same thing to me, that if you let them chase you out of the game, out of the guild, they win. And they that's know right. me well enough to know that pissed me off. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, it was, so... manip- it was, I will say, <laughs> it was a little manipulative. The icing on the cake was worked. like, remember what your grandmother said, and that was like... She's oh, I know. I just Lord. wanted to slap you. I was just like, ah, how could you use that against me? You how do you shit? bring Grab Grab into this? <laughs> <laughs> then I watched Jazz turn to full Sith Lord, and I was like, it was so glorious. Yep. And yeah. then I just I just said, you know what? And I used to have a sign on my computer after that that just said F them, although not the F part, but the full word. Um, And I kept it on my uh, it was on my computer for years. This PG-13 moment brought to you by Jazz, who doesn't know yes. how to say fuck. <laughs> I'm trying not to, <laughs> because I swear so much my kids have all learned to swear, and I feel bad. Yeah, I know. We've heard. <laughs> Get you my swear milk, like boy. little sailors, and it's my fault. So On yes, more than I one occasion. On my, you know. Yeah, but you know, and that was just as a guild leader. And I don't know, you know, and Jez was never, she was never like, I'm going to be a community leader. She's like, I just want to leave, lead my own little corner yep. of the world, you know, and interact <laughs> with some people now and then. And, you know, but then, but what, what comes, how that stuff usually comes about is things like she said in the past, the, uh, uh, that, uh, a uh, uh, hunter monster thing that she was talking about where the guy like no you can't do that where they god modded and and metagamed that stuff things like that the psycho lunatics that just that have to win and things like that uh I keep saying things like that and things like that uh, you know the things like, like that, 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 that thing like, those no, things that, thing that are like that, that. yeah um, like that yeah oh and by the way too i don't i think i got interrupted or i locked up uh, more than likely interrupted myself and lost my train of thought. Uh, if if you want to call the show, uh, rpmmoradio.com slash discord. Join our discord server. Uh, our caller waiting room is waiting for you with the lovely Yunfei there to make sure your mic works, that you're not 11, and that you want to talk about dead celebrities. That it's topical is what I'm getting at. So um, let's move on here. So there's there's... Uh, three kinds that uh, that we've all kind of seen. There's there's three types of, you know, well known people, <laughs> people that rise up. Uh, there's those that uh, get there. Excuse me, I keep hiccuping and it's really awful. I can't talk. 
<clears throat> that get there by being active. Um, they want to help people. Uh, they make making the community at uh, com- like making community wide events uh, that try to include everybody, um, even those even those shameful black blacklisted guilds. Um, they include <laughs> multiple guilds. They'll include freelancers. That they, they, you know they they try to they just try to make the community around it better. Even um, the purple Wookiee guild. Especially the Purple Wookiee Guild, because oh, they no. No. have the power to fix them through the power of love, like oh, Care Bears. <laughs> or is that friendship? I can't ever remember eh. which one the Care Bears had. Was it friendship or love? I think it was both. It was something. Yeah. Um, their radioactive bellies just saved the day. That's all I know. I like gummy bears. We were talking about the Care Bears, but all right. <laughs> I mean, that's a totally <laughs> different property, <laughs> nerd. Uh, you don't even know the difference. Related. Don't you guys know the like difference care between bears. I can like gummy bears. Okay. Don't know the difference between care bears and gummy too. bears. Just so <laughs> dork. I know there was a grumpy bear, and you got ready to see him. Yeah, there was also an fu bear, and uh, it was not. I liked I liked Stormy Bear, the one that had the storm cloud, because he was like their Eeyore. So anyway, okay. <clears throat> Sorry, I derailed you. Uh, but yeah, so uh, but you know they they that they just don't end up that they don't they just get out there, you know, like and they uh, people start to look up to this person. They've proven that uh, they can keep their word, you know, which is a very important thing in role play. You know, when someone says they're going to do something. It's so it's a lot of time, you know, real life can get in the way, things like that. So when somebody is consistently able to keep their word, um, they can gain people's trust and they're reliable and things like, you know, they, they do what they say they're going to do. It tends to elevate them up and people start to see that. Um, and they don't use the authority that they're given by the players uh, to manipulate or threaten other people's role play. They're 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 good, honest people. They're just there to have fun. They just want to to help people um the other kind is those that uh kind of do many of the same things uh you know they're 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 active um they're quote unquote helping people but uh at the same time it's always you you may always start to notice that their help is also largely self-serving and seems to always bend back on a way that really benefits them um but they're, they're like you know they're just in it for the glory and the fame. They actually are setting out to be. I'm going to be a pillar of the community. Which, uh, Jess, what game was that that we were playing that someone was like, "I'm a pillar of the community." Was that Guild Wars Two or something? Yeah, I want to say. Yeah. Yeah, and they were like, "I'm a pillar of the community," and what you're doing is wrong, and blah blah blah. blah. It's like you're okay. First of all, if you say you're a pillar of the community, you're uh, you're like one of those ancient pillars that's crumbling and at the bottom of the ocean and tipped over and you know pyramids of geezer or something you're not one of those like like the coliseum that's lasted for thousands of years I some of those guys I'm not hearing right go ahead sorry to interrupt now some of these folks that actually work really hard they just they just want to role play to role play they don't even realize they're a pillar of the community until someone like says oh you know everybody knows you and you're like what are you talking about yeah I'm just trying to play my character yeah they don't it doesn't even dawn on them that they yeah you know, until like someone may point it out, and even then they're like, "Whatever, that's fine. Whatever, I don't care. I'm just doing my thing." Yeah, um, I went, I went many circles, and everybody knew who Xanus was, and I was like, "Wow!" It's like, and I was playing my my evil assassin. It's like, I can go, I can go everywhere, and I still hear about this jackass dark elf. See, it, <laughs> it, <laughs> you're, you might not be wrong, but I, I never, I, I never did anything like all that stuff. Yeah, I just I role played my character. It was no, big yeah, exactly. Deal. That, that was my point. Yeah, one knew who he was. I mean, back when I first met Xanus, my character was virtually unknown at the time, except for our very small circle. And Xanus was well known even then. Yeah, enough that when he showed up, it got Baca's attention. So, yeah, See, I had no idea. <laughs> I really didn't. I just, I just thought I was some nobody that. Just played with jazz all the time. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. And others, you role played really well, and you role played with a lot of different people. And slowly, your name starts circling around. Hey, this is a cool dude. 
Later, it came back on me, except it was like everybody who Ringots was like, I don't even know half these people. How do they even know I exist? And yeah. Because and like I you're just a good dude, things. You're an asshole, but you're a good player. I was the I was the anti yeah. that. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, they were all they are I yeah, because it was a lot of people said that they like they hate your character, but they loved you. Which that's kind of what you wanted, so that worked out for oh, yeah. fine. So. Yeah. But you know, but and yeah, and, and most most real community leaders, they just they they just are, you know. It's and this <laughs> Excuse me. Bless you. Oh, bless you. I was like, what? That was, such uh, a was that me? Little cute <laughs> me. <laughs> Not nearly That's as it exploded inside my head instead of outside. Yeah, minor, <laughs> minor, violent explosions like dynamite. Yours is more like a, a, a spark. It was like a, a chew. <laughs> it's so, so sweet. Um, but yeah. So the 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 second kind, the the worst kind, if the the pillar of the community, which, like I said, don't 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 don't. Just don't ever self-identify as that, um, or a community leader or something like that. Uh, it's one of those. It's, I'll, I'll go to this here. Um, and we, like I said, we've seen people do that. Uh, often they they'll threaten someone or or even groups of people to destroy their role play, or they'll spread false information that also makes them look look better than the rest of them, and or they'll blacklist players. Someone I saw. Excuse me. Good grief. I keep just have the worst time tonight. Uh, I forget who it was. I saw somebody in the chat had mentioned uh, blacklisting, you know, and any anybody like I, I, I get it. You know, there's certain people I might per- personally blacklist. But if you're you're high up in a community and you're telling other people like, no, you should never role play with this person. They're awful. Like. And, and you should put them on ignore and take my word for it. No, like I've warned. You should never people. take their word for it. No, I warn people. Uh, you know, I'll warn people like, hey, be careful with this guy. You know, they're they're ERP hounds. You know, just just keep that in the back of your head. But you've been you know forewarned is forearmed. You know, or- if you don't investigate for yourself, like I heard all kinds of crap about <laughs> Silver Circle back in the day, and I talked to the leadership anyway, and I was like, dude, these people are full of crap. But if I believed him, I would have, like, run off to some idiot guild and suffered all their derpness. Yeah, or... Yeah, we were blacklisted for a long time. But in the end, most people didn't listen and would want to come and find out for themselves. And then they'd find out that it wasn't true and were able to roleplay with us. So... Okay. And now they're gone, and we're on a radio yeah. show. Revenge <laughs> yeah. is sweet, so sweet. Uh, Insomniac in the chat said another another one, and I didn't. Th- I I there's just so many things that assholes do that I I just I ignore them so often. I forget about this. Um, another one is that if you don't role play with them, uh, or don't role play with them, or you'll get banned. So they'll threaten like, don't role play with this person, or if you do, you're going to be the same league as them, and we're not going to. Our, this, this, my group of followers over here is going to have nothing to do with you, um, or you know, you'll get removed. Uh, as X Malexia said, apparently has happened. Uh, you'll be removed from the guild without thought. You know, just based on what this person says. Those are not the kind of leaders. That, you know, that's 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 not following a leader. You should be following and trusting. And that's why. When and I suppose I don't know what I would have been like had this not happened to me. So I can't I can't say that. I would like to believe that I would have had the same opinion. Um, but we never blacklisted anyone, even people that were like, "Wow, um, <laughs> yeah, we're out there." We never blacklisted people. What we would say is they we, can't. We come had back a war- we had a list, but it was like, yes. here's what here's the offenses this person has done. Right. If you role play can, with them, yes. you do so at your own risk. We are not going to, co- as a guild and as officers, we have what happens, happens. Now, when he hurts you, we will be here for you, but we are not going to deal with him or her. Right. Or, it, or her. But, we would have a list of people that said, you can RP with them till your heart's content, but do not involve the guild in any way, shape, or form. Yeah. If you get Don't kidnapped, them, you yeah. better chew through those ropes because that's the only way anyone's going to come <laughs> and find you. Because nobody in this guild is going to come find you yeah. if that's who you're role playing with. And it was, you know, it was a hard decision. And I think we only had like six or seven people. It was fairly over short. And they 10 were, years. And they that, were severe that, cases. Yeah. It was not yeah, something. They were pretty bad. And it had to be, if I remember right, it had to be. It, it, I don't think it was unanimous, but it had to be a vast. It had to be a majority yes. of officers to even be. We had to have a majority that. of officers 
who voted. And we had a, uh, I guess you could say an officer's channel. And when somebody ran across someone or had an issue with someone that they felt was bad enough, they could throw it out there and say, this someone is someone I don't want us interacting with. We'd hear their case and then we'd take a vote. Yeah. And you voted whether or not you agreed. Not say, you know, and you couldn't agree if you had never role played with them. So if there weren't enough votes, then that person didn't get added to the list. It would be like, you're welcome to warn people. Yeah, you still you still but, do that, but yeah, but yeah. You, we're not but, gonna you know, tell and, people. And, not if, and, to, and the other thing know. too was like a warning, um, but we wouldn't let them go out and be like needlessly making shit up. It's because you're not helping. For one, it's it's a pathetic use of your time, and two, it doesn't it doesn't help a situation that already sucks as it is. You don't need That's true. people are assholes enough <laughs> without making stuff up about them. You, you just you know. <laughs> so yep. you don't need to make things up to make it worse. It's those, it's the people like we were talking, you know, that that do false reports of of racism or things like that, or that they they make up something in in uh, about somebody. To, it's, and it's just pointless. Why? Why are you doing that? You, you're not for one. When you know, in the cases of the the people that like you were talking, Jazz, about the the guy that had put bad words on his garage and he had black paint on his hands. Uh, that we were talking right. about the other week, that stuff like that hurts the cause of actual racism far more. You know, when you're yes, it does because it's the the idea of like, well, we're just trying, you know, or whatever. Or if it's not racism, it's hatred of any kind. If it's uh, towards gays or or conservatives or liberals or whatever, whatever shit thing people do, you don't need to make it up. People will be dumb, do dumb stuff on their own. You know, trust me. I don't need Truth. people. Don't need help being stupid. But junior you, high antics, like, but in game and yeah, d- man, I didn't like it then, and I sure don't like seeing it in game. Yeah, and you hurt, you know, like those people if they're gonna do that stuff, uh, like Strafay Psycho. You know, you didn't need to make stuff up about her. What what happened was gonna happen, and the light, it, the 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 light of day was eventually gonna shine through. But if you had made stuff up about it on top of that then no matter what comes through you've already tainted your credibility and you've already hurt the cause it's like i say i say the racism thinks it's the easiest one everybody knows exactly what that's like uh well what it is you may not have ever had it happen to you i don't know damn white people am i right guys right kill whitey like kill how, uh, whitey kill whitey <laughs> right i like um, how she's got a she's got a proper title on the show it's kind of sad yeah <laughs> but, uh, but you know, when when you do that, the the real cases of real racism, the you know the 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 ones that come out, you've hurt that cause because now, even if that has actually happened, people are like, well, remember when this guy did that? You know, what if it's the same thing? You know, and it's that's that stuff that you really sh- you you shouldn't have to be doubting. You know, like, well, he probably did it himself. You're you're hurting everything, you know, and it's the same same, happens the same way in role play. If you're going to make stuff up about people when they're already bad people, mm, you're only hurting yourself, and you're only going to make it's it's going to take that much longer for the truth to come out about them. Uh, And the third type, getting to this, uh, and lastly, uh, is is really more often to me. It it seemed like a separate group, so that's why I put it here. Um, Those that often support number two. Uh, doing far more of the work uh, as they are a lot more of the number one kind. They're, so they're, it's a number one supporting a number two. <laughs> uh, but, <laughs> but they don't Very have clever, sir. But they don't have a, the confidence of you know of the, of the pillar of the community type person. But they do all the work, and that person gets all the credit. And they they, they just they're basically just being used by. By a you know a dark the darker darker pillar I guess as we could call it. <laughs> There's the light yeah. pillar and the dark pillar. It sounds like a young adults novel starting out already. <laughs> but yeah, in in those people, they often you know they'll they'll do a lot of the same work and they'll but they're always in the shadows. They they're kind of shy maybe, um, but they typically get used and they support you know they can support the 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 second types, the dark pillars. And I kind of, I mostly, I just kind of pity those people because they, they tend to, when everything goes bad, like we had with uh, that one thing where we talked about 
uh, some time ago where someone tried to, Strafei Psycho tried to rewrite that guild history, they had uh, a, a number three there. And that's the one that took the fall for that entire thing, basically. And and kind of looked, was just left there holding the bag like, what the, what what happened? But just, why why am I holding this bag full of shit and everyone's pointing <laughs> fingers at me? You know? Ah, they gave it a seduction, they let the manipulation happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, all right. So with uh, with those three, uh, you know, that's the two main kinds. With the third one's kind of a, 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 a we'll, we'll call it a hanging Chad. To go back all the way to was that two thousand? So <laughs> hanging Chads. <laughs> it just solidified my thought that all Chads are horrible, horrible people. If you're named Chad, I'm sorry. You're just bad. So, <laughs> uh. You know, and and so so moving on with this, um, I know for a lot of people because I've seen it a lot of I've seen uh, jazz with you. They're like, you know, people are always like, oh, it must be so great. Like the second you log on, you've got role play and you've you've got all these people clamoring for your attention. And uh, I'm over here. I'm hoping my RP friend logs in. I don't have anything else to do. Of course, that's also partly the different in why one person's one way and the other one's the other because you're. All you do is complain about how you never have any role play going on instead of doing a little bit to, to try to seek it out. Um, or create it yourself. Or create it yourself, yeah. Um, but so as, as great as being on top, top sounds, like I said, I know a lot of people just, they, they see it from the outside, like I say, and think, man, you look so popular. You know, look how great they are. They, they must have so much role play. Uh, and the truth of this is it's actually – it really is a double-edged sword that can cut both ways. It, it, you know, you you do have a lot of role play. Uh, you do have people reaching out to you and things like that. Uh, but you also, on the flip side, get drug into a lot of role play and maybe role play that doesn't interest you, but because everyone wants to include you and maybe, well, you find this personally boring. It might be something your character would kind of have to do, and like you can't think of a way not to do it. So sometimes you kind of get get drug into things that you would really rather not be using your time on. Um, and there's also the point that if you say no, then they come after you with pitchforks. Yeah, cause because because you think you're better than them or whatever. Yeah, I mean, it, it and and it, it doesn't it doesn't sound so bad until like <laughs> you're like I'm sorry I'm or you know it's either. You know, either you're not interested, you don't have time for it, you've already got something scheduled, uh, whatever the reason is, and it can lead to hurt feelings like, oh, well, you know, because there's, we, we all know those, we, we, nobody likes being rejected, I mean, I get that, I mean, it sucks, that's why it's called rejection and not awesomeness, because uh, <laughs> it doesn't feel good, uh, <laughs> but, you know, when, when someone's hurt feelings come into play that could change you know it can do go it could change someone's outlook and sour it a little bit even though it's not something you have any control over uh it can still make things get a little ugly you know and yeah. uh once that happens you know people they'll they can start to get annoyed you know if you're you're making excuses or they start to feel like you're just blowing them off all the time uh even if you have legitimate reasons uh, it also can lead to deedless envy uh, from some or those that think uh, you've like scorned them in some way, and thus, you know, the that's that's when the uh, the shit flinging and rumors can start. You know, in our in our listener's case, uh, you know, she was even uh, slut shamed because uh, she enjoyed some writing mature themes now and again. Uh, piece people gossiping behind their back uh, to people and friends around them, but never you know, to their face where they could like, Hey, what's going on? Or, you know, uh, mm. and even writing to people that, uh, apparently have done jobs or that they've done jobs for and try to get them fired <laughs> from it. Yep. Yeah. Dude, that is some passive aggressive crap that's going on all over the place. I'm like, what's up with that, man? Yeah. Like, are you so petty that's that horrible. you're trying to, you have no empathy for other mm -hmm. people that you were trying to attack well, them in the real world. I mean, that's ridiculous just because your feelings are hurt. It goes back to mental illness, which is rampant within the community, um, because we're all isolated people who enjoy, we're very creative, 
and a lot of mental illness runs in those circles. So, I mean, I understand it from a scholastic point of view why it happens. Right. But it doesn't change. But that at the it's same time, slugs. dick move. Yeah, yeah. There's there's integrity. <laughs> there's empathy, and then there's a freaking dirtbag move. And guess what they're doing? They're being dirtbags. Yeah. And they know it. Obviously, they're being manipulated. They're being a malicious, going after people in the real world. It's like, don't do that. Mm-hmm. I mean, what kind of person are you to do that? If you have serious self introspection, see what's wrong with you first. Yeah, and I've had, I, I've heard stories, uh, not just in role play, uh, but you know, and we've we've seen it, we've seen it in our current political climate, where somebody will will say something that, uh, given, is st- stupid or it's a bad joke. And then the people demand that they lose their job, which was completely unrelated. And often or not, the company's just like, "All right, you're not worth. Technically, you're not really worth all this money. So, boop, we're cutting you loose. What What do you get out of that? You know." And it's the same thing with this. Why Why would you want to do that? You know, um, one of the guys uh, over, I list, like I said, I've listened to the Limp Break Radio guys from Final Fantasy fourteen, and he had said something on uh, Guild Wars two that recently happened where. Uh, two of their two of the the people the developers from Guild Wars Two uh, were fired, and uh, she had called someone an asshat. It wasn't on a Guild Wars Two account; it was on her private account. Blah blah blah. And I, I don't you know I, I'm I'm all for like consistency. If you're gonna if you're gonna go after one person for doing something, you know you you but not the other, someone else for doing something the same or even worse, then you're just picking and choosing. Uh, you know, she got fired from her job. Another guy, uh, kind of that was backing her up at the company, got fired as well. And he was just saying, you know, he was just pointing out the it, it, how pointless that is. That you're you're going after someone's livelihood and something over what you know, f- something unrelated. They were that was some some asshole was clearly being cheeky, and she just called him out on it. And of course, because of what she what she did, they were like, "Oh no, you can't do that. You have to be. I can I can attack you, but you can't attack me back and defend yourself." And uh, so, ah, they, the cry bully syndrome. Yeah. So they were talking about this that that whole story over at LBR, and uh, oh sweet Jesus, the the Guild Wars two. I like to think nobody from the role play community because you guys are all better than that. You had better be. Uh, but the a lot of the people from Guild Wars 2, they actually ended up finding where he works in the real world at his radio station and trying to, to get him fired there for what he had said, to which his boss and him read over it, and they had a good laugh together uh, and they went about <laughs> their day, which is really how it should be. Because, like, who gives a shit yes. what a bunch of internet trolls say about a stupid video game when you're just defending someone's ability to defend themselves, you know? And and his their their point was that it was something similar happened to a, I forget who it was at the same time it was a uh, it was a dude she was a chick obviously and they the double standard was that they only went after the woman which I don't know could be it could be a sexist thing could could be just you know and there's trust me I I am not one to go with the sexist route right off the bat uh, most of the time I think it's uh, it's just a shit argument. But there are, uh, I mean, if you watch those comments uh, on on Twitter and things like that, man, some of those people, they, I was like, they're just vile, and you know, they really are. It's like, how how do you not like women? Why, are you, what, what what is wrong with you? <laughs> Have you looked at one before? Is it because you've never touched a booby? Is that what it is? Is that? I'm listen, assuming that's why. Since Kish was in here, I'll I'll just comment for Kish a little bit. Listen, listen, they're soft, they smell nice, they get these wonderful things in their shirt called twins. Hey, what's not the love? <laughs> That's right. Thank you, thank you, you pretend sure Kishmas. Or was You're that more like you, Ashen, Kishmas? That was just the for the, the male population in general. Yeah. <laughs> so let's just throw all the males in there. Yeah. It, you, I mean, come on. Even gay guys, they're like, you know, I don't like all the body parts, but they are squishy. <clears throat> yeah. mm. <laughs> Well, you know, there's always moves. That's so. right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we're talking about why? Where are we talking about Chris Christie now? <laughs> oh no, he is a massive, massive specimen of a human being. See, I don't care who's which side you're on. You're all awful. <laughs> um. So, but. For for people to, I, I just I'm 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 with you, Strafe. I mean, I get it on the intellectual and academic level that Jazz speaks of, and you know, <laughs> and the 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 mental disability kind of stuff that some of the people have. But 
I mean, goddamn, guys, uh, it, it's there's people there's got nothing, well, there's you're making, knowing why making doesn't up help. stuff, right? It doesn't help. I mean, it helps me process it myself to know why people are like that. It doesn't make me any less pissed off about it. Yeah, no. same here. Yeah. But, I mean, they still boxed me into a corner and tried to destroy my life on a very personal level. These people came after me with everything. Yeah. yeah. What was just in game? Posting your personal information, all that stuff. Yeah. yeah. But the good news was is because I'm not a complete idiot, they didn't have enough information to find me at my work. And Well, and even do, if you did, you know, like – they would have been like, so what's going on? It's like, it's just, I play some stupid game and these people don't like that I pretend this way. And they're like, really? What the fuck is wrong? Most most real companies are just going to be like, what's wrong with these people? You yeah. Know? yeah. Too much time on their yeah. hands. I mean, if you have if you have that lack of empathy and you literally are that butthurt where you're trying, people got bills to pay. People have to live their lives and survive. If you're trying to ruin somebody, I mean, how, how crap is your life? Yeah. I mean, how would you like? I mean, it's a lack of the golden rule. I mean, think about what you you know. How would you want to be treated? And if you're yeah. going out and doing that to other people, is that, do you expect for like a freaking internet mob of trolls to come lynch you at your place of work business? Yeah, you know, and and ex Malixi in the chat too, as well as you know, that hell bent on ruining someone's uh, time in game. Let me just say all these things to brainwash my guild into supporting it, and it is they're right. It is all too common and. Why? 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 Why do you care what somebody? Why? Why is that a thing to you? Just because they're and, they're you know, well known, or or you don't agree with them, or maybe you know, or if, if you brought in, you know, if that, which we I've seen too that uh, real world politics comes into it, and they're on they're they're on opposite sides, and they're not. You know, I'm conservative. I'm liberal. We have to hate each other now, so they start trying to ruin each other over what? Why? That's the there's nothing there why are you there's no reason to do that it doesn't you it doesn't make you right in the end and it it, it does it, all it does it, there's no winners in that no, it's, it's just not. a bunch of losers you're just ruining uh storylines you're, you're ruining time you're ruining a place where people like want to relax and unwind mm -hmm. you're bringing the world the world into it because mm -hmm. i guess you're miserable and you want to make other people miserable misery loves company i think I guess. that's really I think it that's right part there. of it mm -hmm. yeah that is right there that's it right there because like when they came after me initially and it just kind of snowballed because people follow like sheep. So it started and, and I had a person who kicked me off at their website say, all these rumors wouldn't be here if there wasn't some truth to it. And we don't want you anywhere near us if there's truth to it. Right. Which And is... I was like, but it's a rumor. Yeah, that's it's not. Real. That's the whole accusation without being, you know, what the right. You can, you, anybody really can accuse someone of anything. It. That's why we have due process. And I get it. It's an online thing. You're not going to get a trial. But, like, basic, like, hey, so all these rumors are coming out. We have a f we're, we're a little worried that with this many people coming after you that there's truth to this. What's your side of the story? Right. But nobody ever asked me that. No. Nobody. And most of the time Except they Except my own guild and my friends. And, and we knew you were guilty. That was... <laughs> <laughs> Nice. It was. It was really. It really messed. With, you can ask. Well, I guess you guys. You know too. Yeah. I know Strafing knows. Oh gosh. I still see ghosts in the shadows because they didn't just come after me. You know, they they snuck into my guild. Oh yeah. They took screenshots of our chats and then moved them around to make and horrible jobs by the way they didn't do a cut and paste very well, well it was obviously ms paint is not the easiest program when right. it's all you can afford <laughs> but i mean they tried and and some people were gullible enough to buy it and, bless their heart but we had people two in particular sneaking into my guild on a regular basis under various tunes until it just became i could spot them yeah right off the easily. bat easily Right off the bat, I knew they were there, but I often didn't do anything initially because I wanted to see what they do, this morbid curiosity of, of seeing what they were up to. But even now, when somebody does something, I'll say to Stray, I wonder if that's this person, or I wonder if... So I st I'm... <laughs> You're like uber paranoid. Ago, yeah. I don't blame I'm you. I'm still paranoid about it. I think it's, it's good to be wary, but don't, yeah, you can't let it run you. Yeah, you and playing. I don't. I just, I spout off to like Stray, and he'll be like, you know what I'm going to say, right? I do. I do. I'm just, I just, what if it is? And he's like, what if it is? What are they going to do? True. Okay. I feel better now. Yeah. So I had to change my perspective 
and I and I put out there to anyone that's undergoing this, if once you are uh, famous or infamous, and they're all equally bad, by the way, mm -hmm. um, I see Lee. I had an infamous character. Uh, people assumed that I was apparently a dark elf living in Iowa. Um, there is that. There is that. <laughs> some of that mixing that comes in. It's like yeah. You wait, really wait. Start they, to they see you as the. Like, yeah. Hold up. Hold up. You're not a dark elf living in Iowa. <laughs> I love you, Jazz. Wow, <laughs> Strafe, yeah. uh, We need to have. We need to have a talk uh, about uh, reality uh, after the yeah. show. Uh, bring, a, no. to, bring a box. My, uh, my immersion. anybody out there <laughs> that has been targeted and feels bad, I mean, it, it needs someone to talk to. And I've, I've talked to other guild leaders before, who's because every guild leader goes through this on some level. But if you're truly in that position like I was, where you've been blacklisted or you feel that you just can't log on anymore, send me a tell. Talk to me. I'll never tell a soul. Yeah. But Jazz, I am she's there. Jazzy, <laughs> Jazzy B in our Discord at uh, rpmradio.com slash Discord. And yep. like we said, if if we're we're here to help. We 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 want to do all this stuff to help role players and MMOs that get on their feet, uh, navigate some of the uglier waters that, that does and can come up. And, you know, we, we've got experience and we're willing to share it. We may not have all yes. the answers. We may not no. have everything for every situation because in the end, all we can do is advise you. We can't, we can't fix it for you, but we do have, you know, we, we do have the experience to maybe help you navigate those choppy waters a little bit easier and, listen. and still come up yeah. out on the top. And, and at the very I'll least, listen and give you ideas of what yeah, worked for me. Somebody and, to talk and... to. Yeah, just to get, because sometimes that's all you really need is just somebody to say, dude, you're not imagining it, and it's okay to feel like this. Yeah. Because I've been there, I'm past it. Now when somebody does that and they start doing that nonsense, I just laugh. Yeah. Now, I understand, <laughs> but back too. back then it was horrible. We're, we're also going to be real with you, and we're not going to just tell you what you want to no. hear. And if it turns out that it sounds like some of what you're doing may be on right. maybe instigating it, we're going to tell you that too. So, oh, yeah. Because so I, I will say part of, part we'll of be what nice happened with me was some of it I did to myself because I set myself up with bad people and I was too nice and too patient and I didn't nip some things in the bud. And so now when I talk to people, sometimes I'll tell them, this is what you're doing. You this gotta is, nip this it is, in the bud. You gotta stop that because if you don't, this is only going to get worse. Yep. And that's important. I mean, I had to give up ERP completely because of the the trolls and the psychos. And I missed it for a while. Um, now I don't. But there are things that you can do to make it better. Always. Mm -hmm. Part yeah. of it's laughing, by the way. <laughs> yeah. A and, lot. And, and taking a step <laughs> back and realizing it's, it's, yeah. it's all pretend. You know, it really... Yeah. If 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 it really affects your life to that great a deal, you really probably do need to step back. I know we've had yes. had some people that they 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 verify their existence through this kind of stuff. So when you know when the shit hits the fan like this, it oh, really man. it hits it hits them hard. It hits them on an emotional level that yeah, this was can bring this was about the game dep I played depression 15, and, and eighteen hours a day. Bad stuff, and that was. Both Xanus and Stray were like, maybe we need to find a different game for you to play for level one. She's like, I don't want like it. Yeah, I was like, I like EQ. <laughs> and they're like, spread out a little bit. Yeah. And find something else to focus on. And I did. And it made all the difference in the world because I started playing other games. And I realized that this same shit happens in every single game. Yeah. And it's just a game. I think we got it, got you on one of the ones that was like buy to play. where Because, you, you know, it's like, here, just buy it. You don't have to pay monthly. That kind of thing. Yeah. Like yeah. Guild Wars there, I went, Yeah, I I went to several games that I played just to take a break, a couple because I couldn't get away if I was in game. Yeah. So finding an alternate game to play where I wasn't a guild leader, I was a nobody, which by the way, so refreshing. Um, is don't important. worry, Jazz, you're always a nobody to us. Aww, <laughs> thank you, sweetie. You're welcome. Throw you, a shoe at him, please. If you do have fellow <laughs> got guild, rid of my bottle. <laughs> if you do got fellow guild members coming after you though, because they find out you're politically this or politically that, my advice, because it's happened to me a number of times, um, just don't engage with them. Mm -hmm. Just refuse. Yep. They'll get more pissed off and then refer this crap to your guild leader. 
and they will often have your back, especially if yeah. you don't engage in the oh, dirt. Yeah. yeah. I am not. Oh, there she goes. But there if anybody there ever, goes. if anybody ever started in on them and they didn't tell me and then they came to me and they said, this person is doing this, I would lay into that person because yeah. nobody deserves that. So, yeah. Yeah. I get, I don't care. Especially when you bring real world stuff like that into it, things that's that's your reason for for downing on somebody. I don't care what side of anything you're on. It's just it's just not acceptable. That's not the way I. That's not the way I I do my discourse when it comes to politics or or, uh, I would say sports. Uh, but it's bad I don't form. Know any sports? Uh, yeah, it's bad so. form. It's bad form. I mean, yeah. you're showing a lack of decorum. And come on, man, get it together. It's a game. People want to enjoy themselves. Yeah. Um, so, so going on to, you know, that's like, I guess that's, that's about as best as we can get for why people would do stuff like that. Um, the, the part that comes after that, once it has started is dealing with it and it's not easy. Like the, the, the best, really the best way and the only way is to just try to rise above it, you know, not let it get to you, which I know is easier said than done. You know, it's easy for me to say, don't let it bother you. It's easy for me to say, you know, they're, they're, they're nobody or they're just, they're just jealous or they're just being spiteful and they're just small people. It doesn't make it the sting and hurt really any less. No, Um, I was so hurt and so angry, but when, but it's true. And that's what I've told people, the best thing you can do. And that's what I did. And we went ahead and we made silver circle. One of the best guilds ever. Yeah. Um, because I just refused. I was like, well, I guess some people are going to hate us and some people won't. And I swallowed my pride and I said, there was pride. There was pride in that. I felt oh, yeah. like they were maligning something I had worked really hard for. And I felt very angry about that. And then I realized it's a game and mm-hmm. it's digital and stop it. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah, get some perspective, put it, laugh at them because anybody that comes after you like that in a game they have issues, hun. <coughs> Serious and, issues. Wow. Yeah. You know, you need to just kind of roll your eyes and say, "You need help." I'm sorry. Yeah, and I know it's easy. Like we said, it's easier said than done because there's people I just don't, I don't like. I just don't like them uh, having conversations with them. I just don't like them as individual people. I just think they're bad people, so I avoid bad people just like I do in real life. Um, but you know, in like we were saying, the the. No matter no matter where you are in the game or in real life, you know eventually you'll you'll fi- you're gonna find people like these. They exist. You know you work with them too. Um, yeah. You know hopefully you know most of us left a lot of it behind in high school. Um, but as no, Strafe had had said, you know miserable people often want to make others as miserable as they are. You know misery that, loves company, man. It's a, it's a universal thing. I it's mean, a human thing. Yeah. There's there's no way around it. Yeah. You know, and, and of course, be high, being behind a keyboard and a monitor, man, they don't have, you know, the, the things that they would never say to somebody in real life, they'll just, you know, yeah. vomit out into the universe. That anonymity, bleh, I can't talk either. <laughs> anonymity. <laughs> that word, yeah. See anonymies. See anonymies. Anonymity. Anonymity. Hey, man, you know, the best thing to do, those folks. If they see you're happy, especially if you're one of these supposed pillars of the community, don't don't give up that happiness. It'll make them crazy. And either they're happiness gonna get happy. Happiness is the best revenge. It's, yeah, it's, the, it's the light that you know burns away the 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 disease. Yeah. So thank you, Yoda. <clears throat> Keep it together. <clears throat> Lift your X-wing out of the swamp, and uh, <laughs> take out Darth issues with your smile. Yep, Darth issues. <laughs> I, like that. I like that. That Dorothy. is why you failed. Hmm? That's yes. right. Oh. No. <laughs> now you sound like Grover. You don't sound like Yoda. You sound like Grover. <laughs> okay. Grover. Oh, I love Grover. They were the same person. Of course, I sound like Grover. They were oh, really? Frank Oz. Yeah. Really? Uh, Are I'm, you kidding me? No. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Frank Oz was the original Grover. Yeah. He did a lot of the Muppets. Uh, ah, we learn new things every day. Yeah. And he was Yoda? Pretty yeah, Frank sure. Oz, man. Yeah, Frank Oz. I just had my head broken open. This is <laughs> learn I always did. thought I was weird because he sounded like Grover. Learn <laughs> I'm did. looking at yes. it. <laughs> ah. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. I always thought I was bizarre. He's the he voice of like both Cookie Monster and Grover. 
I knew they were the same person. Yeah. But I did not know that he played. He Yoda. was Yoda. Yeah, that's Yoda. Yep. Help you, ad- help you. We did. Yes. Mm-hmm. Find your voices. <laughs> <laughs> mine, 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 mine. Ah, <laughs> uh, let him have it. Yeah, I love that. Uh, <laughs> hitting, it, hitting it with a stick. <laughs> Oh man. So, all right. Well, um it it like I said, this stuff is really easy. It's easy to say, it's hard to do. Um you really have to uh you really have to look at yourself and see this is this is where it comes we're we're getting going to get a little meta here. Uh you have to see if anything that they're actually saying has any truth to it you've got to look yes. inward to yourself if it does if there if you do feel like well maybe they have a point here maybe maybe you'll need to to work on that and change it and and try to make sure that that doesn't happen and this is easy again way easier said than done. having honest introspection and honestly questioning your own beliefs and principles and morals is a difficult hard thing to do and a lot of people, I'll be honest, I don't think a lot of people ever even bother with it. I don't think they get be they 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 are the way they are, and they don't question how they got there, because it's it because if you question it, you might not like the answers you get, and then you might be forced to do something even harder, and that's try to change it. So I yep. get it; it's not as easy to think, but at you know, if you know, it's what I've said before. It's what I. It's why I. The reason I bring it up is it's what I believe in. You have, it's it. You have your core beliefs. You. You have only one thing really in life. Like you can lose your you can lose your family, you can lose your house, you can lose your job. But if you still have your word, if you still have people know that who you are, they know that you can be trusted, that's something that you can't have nobody can take away from you. You can't lose it because you lost your job, because your bank account is zeroed out. You can't you can't lose who your you integrity. are and your integrity, yes. From the only person that can lose that is you. Yep. And the only way to hold on to that is to to really, really focus in and center on what that what that core and what that philosophy in your life is going to be, so that when somebody throws shit at you, you can look at it <clears throat> and then do- you know if you you know that shit has absolutely nothing, in, it's not going to stick to you. You can dodge out of the way like Neo, or you know if you're 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 you roll low on your dodge, it can hit you, but it'll slide off like Teflon. Dude, My grandma used to, used to tell me, she used to tell me when I would get upset with people, because I was picked on in school as well, and she tried so hard, and I just couldn't, which is probably why when what happened in EQ was so damaging to me, because I was picked on in high school, in grade school. So it was like reliving that, and it didn't, I had never dealt with it. So it forced me to deal with two demons, not just one. Well, but one of the things that my grandma always told me, because she would be like, I don't know why you get so upset when they say these things. These things aren't true, so it doesn't matter. And I was like, well, it's still shit, grandma, and shit still stinks. And she goes, shit is just food somebody's body was done with. Wash it off and move on. <laughs> and I was like, that's really disgusting, grandma. Yeah. <laughs> but she was right. But and after, long after she's dead, I was like, wow, that was actually really apropos and i just didn't get it because i was young and angry mm-hmm. you hold but, your in, if you hold your integrity like ashen said man they they always lose and you you can at the end of the day say yeah. hey i'm true to myself and they're being a bunch of derp heads and as for being picked on yes jazz i was as well but i threw the bully over the playground and uh yeah pretty sure we we're all, all good picked, after that pretty sure most of yeah. us were probably picked on <laughs> yeah. and i uh you know when i started fighting back I start, they, they left me alone. <laughs> you got to pull your Marty McFly on Biff and you're good. Yep. And I had to learn that too. Yeah. So, yeah. And I think that's why it eventually worked when they were like, don't get upset, get angry. Screw these people. <laughs> yeah. You know, right. There's the, there's nothing wrong with righteous anger. You know, I know it gets a, it's, it's used in religious aspects, but no, you, you don't have to. It has doesn't have to have anything to do with religion to have righteous anger, right? Or righteous indignation. That is a perfectly okay thing to have when somebody is maligning you. You, you should, you know, stand up for yourself. You should back, you know, you know, 
it's like like uh, Strafe, like you said, with the bully. You know, we all know bullying is a bad thing. We all know most bullies are are more afraid of the person they're bullying standing up to them than than the the person that's being bullied is of the bully. You know, they're they're cowards. Usually, very big, strong, meaty yep. cowards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but they're trying to date. I mean, they oh, may have. Ahead. Sorry, Sibbies, go ahead. No, go go for it, Strafe. I'll say it after you. All right. Well, I mean, it's like Ashton said. Yeah, they may be the big tough dude, but they must have, they got some crap life going on at home. They got something going on they're insecure about. So you know, it's like the military. Shit rolls downhill, part of my language. They're getting it from the top, so they push it down on everybody else. And, you know, that's kind of how it goes. That's with every job. And, <laughs> yeah, and jobs as well, yeah. What are you saying, Sid? No, I was going to say Insomniac in the Twitch chat said, also, you you got to know when to cut off toxic company, mm. yes. which is really true. But it's also really hard for people because if it that's is. all you have to RP with is that toxic company and you you feel like if you lose it, you got nothing else. It's hard. That, us being role players, it's hard for us to put ourselves out there because I know I. it's hard for me to put myself out there. Cause, that is a topic for a whole episode, Sibs. Because I was I, yeah. that reason I dealt with so much crap because I thought I was going to lose all my RP, like all of it. Yeah, it, and it's it is really good advice, and I am one of the first to preach it. But because now I know, even if I cut out the toxicity of somebody, I still have other people to RP with, and I, you know, I I I know there's other good people out there to RP with. Let me put it that way. Mm-hmm. So. They're not but the end just, all be all of everything. Yeah, but some people just don't realize that, or they aren't. They're so new, they don't know. You yeah, know, that there's other good. Or RPs. they've been manipulated in in told yeah. like, well, if uh, yeah, I yeah, I've I've I didn't know people like this in a lot of my life until I met you know my ex and I met her mother, and she was she was one of the worst people I had ever met in my life in. The manipulation that went on with that—it was like, well, without me, you've got nothing. You are nothing. You know that that kind of it, and they do that to the people. They'll do that to new role players. They'll do that to others, other, you know, in, just anybody in general. And they really get under their skin that they're just com- without the this person in their life that they are completely worthless. No one else is going to want you, and if they leave you, you will never find somebody to role play with or be your friend ever again. Yep. And I will say our very own Unifi uh, actually put in the chat. We never really know. We never really fear the unknown. What we actually fear is losing the known. And uh, I'm Alexia is like a hundred percent, you know, and I totally agree with that because it is the fear of, you know, losing what we do know our comfort zone is what really I think is terrifying to people. Yeah, that's why people stay in jobs that they don't necessarily like and treat them like shit because it's it, it's the shit they know. And they they very likely could find a better job that you know, at the very least will will treat them better, but they know where they're at. You know, it's, I'm, I'm just using that as a. I think we've all at least. I think everybody's had at least one of those jobs, so that one seems like a uh-huh. <laughs> an apt comparison. Uh-huh. Um, but you know, it's, it's, and it, it, it sucks to, it sucks to have somebody get that, that deep into your head, you know, and, and when people are, you know, and when you're, you're really, like we said, you know, it's about, it's for about the community leaders and things like that, you know, they're, they, there's no person that doesn't have moments of, you know, of, of, well, well, shit, you know, that kind of stuff. So, you know, when, you get accused of these things. That's why, you know, like, like what I have, you know, when I was called uh, basically a racist and a Nazi by one of our, our guild members, I laughed it off. I mean, it still pisses me off because I know, but I know I'm not one of those things. And I, I had to, I remember that day. Right. I caught the back end of that day as well. Right. And you got, you got it too. Or if someone's, you know, I make, I make, I might make gay jokes, and I might do, do the silly little voices of the stereotypical gay guy. That's fabulous. I'm not a homophobe. <laughs> I, for one, I'm not afraid. Of, I, I'm not afraid of gay people. I'm pretty sure uh, I could sissy slap with the best of them. You know, I will just give them such a pinch. But I don't. 
I'm. <laughs> yeah, right, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, man. I'm fine. Go ahead. <laughs> But no, you know, I, I'm not. I, I'm not afraid of of gay people or trans people or anything. I'm, it, a foe, by the way, is just you know, is a terrible use of that word. But I don't care. I just, I, I, I am. I, I'm not phobic. I'm just. Uh, uh, well, shit. I just had the word, and it's not apoplectic. <laughs> I'm apoplectic about gay people, just like uh, Alex Jones, who. We we will miss all the hours of comedy that he brought to us. Now that all the platforms are dumping him, <laughs> I'm gonna miss my gay frogs, man. Ah, the gay frogs, which I, I have my own opinions on because I always <laughs> think there should be more voices, not less. And even the crazy ones should be heard. That way, you know what crazy sounds like. It sounds like Alex Jones. Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Jones, <laughs> tin foil, deep state. Um. Sorry, <laughs> but you know I'm I'm not a, no I'm uh, I'm not I'm no I'm not a racist I don't care what color you are I care if you're an idiot far more than I care what color you are uh, or what nationality you are or whatever just pick it if you're unless gay, you're a Cylon or yeah. a Reaper then we're gonna have some problems I, I'm even pro Cylon I'll be honest I at this point Strafe would you not welcome our robot overlords. Only if they're the rebel Cylons that join the humans. <laughs> I, they were freaking hot. Hey, I don't care if they wear that dress that one chick was wearing on the cover. I don't care what they're here for. <laughs> Just Agreed. saying. Hot. But yeah, you know, you got it. When you know who you are, these things don't bother you. So when someone's like, "Well, you're just," you know, and I and I'm and, and I bring up the Nazi homophobe and all that stuff because I've seen people they they try to throw those cards at them. Well, you're just racist, or you're just homophobic or you're just this or that whatever excuse me whatever made a bullshit they have that sounds you know it's like the the uh and i'm gonna say it just because it happened the the kid that sib was talking with last week he's like you know he wanted to be on the show he wanted to do this and he wanted to do that and then he leaves with well fine fag what you're, you're using that word because you think it's gonna offend us for one you're 11 you're a moron and two, <laughs> really? That's like, that's the, that's, what the hell's wrong with you? What are you, from 1980? What, you teleport here to the 2018? You know, it, <laughs> that, it, it doesn't offend us because he's a stupid fucking kid. Nobody gives a shit. And we know he has no idea the context of what he's saying. It, you know, ignorance in that case, it, it, it may not excuse it, but it, it makes it like, well, you're, you're a moron. Why would we be why for one she's not gay. I mean, I'm not opposed to it if you're you're willing to try. I'm just <laughs> saying. I'm going well, like, to take the chuck and laughter as a no. One of my friends, uh well, now he's a friend. Initially he wasn't a friend. Um who's homosexual. And I was in basically in the closet and had been for most of my life. But my very, very close friends knew that I was queer. And he, we were in a group of friends, and we were having a disagreement about politics and religion. And he said I was homophobic. <laughs> and I was like, excuse me? Do you even know what that word means? And yeah, It means you're said, afraid of gay people. Yeah. And he was like, it means that you hate me because I'm gay. I said, no. First of all, I don't hate you, but I do think you're an asshole. And you want to know why? Because you're an asshole. Being and... an asshole knows no gender, <laughs> knows right. no color, like, knows no religion, <laughs> knows no Later, sexuality. He told this story several times, and he's, you know, after he got to know me, he realized what a complete, because that's why everyone was laughing. I wasn't mad. I was yeah, laughing just at like, him. Pfft. All my friends were laughing at him because you're doing the Bugs Bunny was... thing where you look at the camera like he don't know me very well, do he? Well, do he? <laughs> yeah, because I've always kind of been the weird one, even in homosexual circles. So when he said that, it was very funny to all my friends, and he was like perplexed as he and I were arguing because he could see everyone snickering, but he yeah. didn't know why. And <laughs> in the end, we became very good friends. Good. Um, but Is I tell he? this story, and he always cringes because he knows that he was a jerk that night. Yeah. And 
he was like, I shouldn't have said that because you're right. I didn't know you. And that was yeah, really and it was just a quick, it, it was just a cheap attempt to try to win a stupid argument. Yeah. yeah. You know, and that's what people, you know, and that's what a lot of people do. They don't think, they don't think about these things, you know? Um, so, all right. So <clears throat> getting off from the, 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 uh, real metaphysical or meta meta stuff there. <laughs> Um, but okay. the other, the other way to, uh, to help get over, you know, when you, when you are a, a kind of at the top and people are, are throwing shit at you, uh, what jazz had to do, rely on your friends, your guildies, the people that you trust her husband, obviously, I guess he was there somewhere, <clears throat> uh, <laughs> yes. you know, you, you really aren't alone and you don't have to bear the burden of it alone. Remember that there's a lot of people, if, if you're really where you you you're at that point where you may even think it and even if you don't cuz like i what they said earlier about me on Xanus i didn't I, i'll be honest even to this day i probably i don't think i really even ever considered it that i was known like that in everquest 2 i mean i know i was known about the people i role played with but i don't know i i don't i don't talk to everybody i'm actually other than the show i'm actually rather insular and ask these guys how often do i jump in chats during you guys' role play it's it's like uh, it's yeah, like it's like seeing Ashen, a fucking yeti. <laughs> I'm here to tell you, Ashen is the freaking rare spawn. Yeah, I don't. I I part of that is because I can't role play and talk at the same time. And he may have the J boots if you're actually are able to take him out. I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, but you have to catch me <laughs> with it first. But I get that twenty twenty percent speed boost. So <laughs> I leave you in the dust. <laughs> but you don't have to bear that stuff alone. You have friends around you. You do have all that stuff. And it, regardless if you're a pillar of the community or you're just, you know, if you're just a schlub like everybody else, we're all schlubs. I mean, it's role play. We're we're playing an online game. It's it's you know, step back for a moment and realize exactly what it is you're doing in your pajamas for four hours at night, m- minimum. Yep. You know. And I, 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 trust me, I know as well as anybody. I mean, I get, I get in. I've been playing games since you know Atari, and I can get into those games so deeply, especially story-driven ones or not, so deeply. The world around me just falls away, and all that exists is what's in front of me. You know, I it, agree. It, it's my, easy. My friend once told me, he's like, "Dude, you don't just play Fallout; you freaking live Fallout when you play it." And I'm like, "Yeah, I guess mm-hmm. I kind of do." Yeah. My, you know, my brain ratchets up. I crank, you know, I'm, I'm watching, looking at everything. I'm taking all the stuff in, you know, and it, and it gets like that, especially probably sometimes even more so with role players because you're not just living in the world. You're living the world. You're, you're making things, you're, you're part of it. You're a living, breathing part of everything that's going on around you. Um, so if somebody comes after you because you've done, so you, you've, you've catched, you know, caught some assholes fancy for some reason or another, and it could be for any number of reasons. And it's in just as often, you know, trolls, like we said on trolls, most trolls, you know, whatever it does. Those don't you know, not role play trolls. They don't really mean a whole lot. They're, they're even, it's very inconsequential on them. But when it comes, this stuff comes from fellow role players and stuff like that. That's when it really starts to sting. And you really start to, you start to feel that just, you know, just that shit feeling, you know, and it, rely on the people and, around you. And to the people out there that do this nonsense, and I know there's going to be some people living, listening right now that, that have and are probably telling themselves, well, this was different. It's not different. And nothing is more sobering than hearing, at least it should be if you're a human being, that your behavior and the way that you treated somebody made them think about dying. Yeah. It's all and to what you said first and, is all variations on a theme, and some of those yeah. themes. There's I've we've seen people we've we've I yeah I, we you, like Jazz said there's a lot of like we've said a lot of role players some of them have have issues and things like that they're deep depression or uh, I just I don't know pick 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 well because of me I was physically ill I was yeah. somebody that worked fifty hours a week and then I got sick and I couldn't do anything and I was yeah. depressed and lost and I found the game and it gave me something to focus on and I did and then this small group of small minded people mm-hmm. tried to take it all away and it was. Probably the devastating. hardest, the devastating thing I've dealt with other than the death of my brother and obviously being targeted at school. But 
it was devastating and it took a lot for mm -hmm. me to rise above it and think before you start doing this nonsense. Yeah, because there are real people. And, and when she says, when she drops the suicide thing, she's not doing that offhand. Is like, it's, it's not a, it's not a, a, a gotcha kind of thing for the show. That is a, I mean, it's a very serious possible consequence of you treating people like shit. And doing yes, these things needlessly, people, it, it happens. That game, this game is all they have. And that's why even when somebody is being a shit to me, and there are always people in every game I've ever played that are, that are like this and who do these things. Yeah. But I keep in the back of my head that this game may be all this person has. And for whatever reason, I threaten <clears> them. <throat> so they're attacking me, but that doesn't justify me attacking them because maybe this is all they have. Yeah. And it's a sobering thought to keep in the back of your head, whether you agree with it, whether you think it's okay, whether you think that they should get a hobby. Well, this is the hobby. Um, <laughs> another hobby. Right. Another hobby or, you know, whatever your opinion is of the fact that maybe they're too attached to this game. And maybe they are. You could be right. But, but, that, it but doesn't that doesn't give make you it. the right to destroy it. Right. And do keep that in mind that these are people. Yeah. Some of them are pretty damaged and perfect. Damaged people. people. They've mm -hmm. they, you never you never know where somebody comes from. Yeah. I have a pretty sweet life. I've I've had great parents. I've had, you know, a decent education. Uh I do well in life. I've you know, I've I've had some missteps. I've had, you know, I've lost people, I've had divorces, I've made bad choices. Um the divorce wasn't my fault, but that's beside the point. <laughs> <laughs> but it still well, happened. That in there. It's still yeah. Well, there's 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 different. And in your in words, yeah. you found the epic wife and some pre-owned kids, and it was kind of right. Awesome. Yeah, they were slightly <laughs> slightly used children. Slightly <laughs> used. They're they're. Oh, uh, what do they call it now at the uh, Goodwill? Gently used. That sounds gently so used. wrong, dude. <laughs> yeah, they're gen they're gently used. They were they barely had any dust on them at this point. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, and. Appreciate whoever uh, I swallow something. Yeah, appreciate you following us, even if you are a, have a douchebag name. <laughs> <laughs> you yourself before you start. Reading. Uh -huh. Well, part yeah. uh, my part of my my Steam Labs is jacked up today. Like they had an update, so I can't see half of the screen it's just a blank white thing because i think they did a bad link to something so i had to like squint at the screen i'm like oh yeah okay but anyway yeah. we appreciate the follow regardless of how long it is before you end up getting yourself banned <laughs> ah the band hammer <laughs> but um so you know for and for like we were saying for those uh you know of the second type that are abusing your station and this power that people have given you stop it yeah just don't you know don't be a dick like we were saying just a minute ago these they're, they're real people behind this stuff and just because you're getting your 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 jolly rocks off or you're you're trying to level yourself and compensate for what you don't maybe have in real life you're you're hurting other people on your you know you're stepping on the the necks and the heads and the backs of people to get where you are you know you're you're role-playing in a game, in an online game, or not? You know, think think of think of what that meant when you were growing up. You're a nerd. You're all nerds. Sorry, to, sorry to break it to you. No, I'm not. You're playing an online game. Yeah, you're a nerd. Uh, I'm not sorry. a nerd. Yeah, you're a big nerd. I'm, I'm a nerd. totally a nerd. Oh yeah. <laughs> you're a nerd. But you know, so you know, it, but if if this much of your life centers on destroying and ruining other people's reputations, you know, the fuck is wrong with you? Just don't. There's no reason for you to go after people with the, the you know, you, you could do so much better for, for people around you than inflating your own ego. You know, people will like people will like you for you if you're a better person than you're you're showing to other people and, and by treating them like crap. I mean it's I don't I you know, if 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 you're if you're trying to be a you know, a community leader just because that's that's what that like that's your actual goal. The majority of community leaders aren't there because that was what they wanted to be. It just happened. They they yeah. just got there, you know. And most people in real life communities who end up being mayors or whatever, they just kind of 
ended up in that position where they were like, you should do this. And they're like, well, we don't have anybody else and we need you. Oh, okay, I, I guess, but I'm just this. And they're like, well, just try. One of my very good friends, uh, when I was growing up, I babysat her kids. Just an amazing lady. Um, worked hard in a factory. She was, you know, barely out of high school. She never really had much of an education. She had two beautiful kids initially. She became the mayor of a town that is fairly well known in Iowa. And I was blown away. And she was like, well, the mayor died. Nobody else wanted to step up. I was like, what the hell? And then she was the mayor <laughs> for 20 years. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so being a community leader really is a lot more about timing and happenstance and doing the right thing. And if it's not, then maybe you need to step down. Yeah. Yeah, just or you know, back off, you know, and it's 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 just disappointing when you see people with a lot of potential to do a lot of really good things and they, you know, use it to go to the dark side of the they force. They wonder their gifts. Yes. They do what must be done and not in the good way. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, um, you know, and like, like we were saying, we all we all kind of get it. We all, you know, we all have people we don't like or you know or we we disagree with them or whatever it is um but you know how much of your time like really seriously how much is your time worth to you you know how much how much time and energy is it worth putting into convincing other complete strangers that you only know through the game that might like somebody else that you don't like that they have to despise them as much as you do i mean like ser what, what do you really really get out of doing that with with using your time in that way i mean like i said it's it's what I, what I said earlier i think it's just these days i think some people they just have so much damn time on your hand the fr it's 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 a first world problem you know to to use that in the literal sense it's you know you're you're not out scrounging for food every day you're not out you know having to work 14 <laughs> jobs we do in game yeah but it's the lazy <laughs> It's the lazy, and it's also the misery loves company. Sadly, yeah. yeah, it's just, and it's it's just not worth. It's that that kind of imagine what it, it, and I get it when when anger and vitriol grips your heart, like that's all you can see. I I I, I get that, but you've got to let that stuff go because otherwise, you know, you're. You know, you're spending two or three hours, you know, every day just making sure or whatever, however much time it is that you, you know, if you're spending five minutes, you're probably spending too much time to convince other people that that this guy over here, you have to hate them because of whatever. You know, I get it with the warning people like, hey, this person wronged me over here. Watch out for them. But after that, after that, you know, you got to let other for one, you got to let other people make their mistakes. And two, if you're. If you're spending your time making posts, if you're you're cataloging and, and going over all this stuff day in and day out, you have got to let that go. That is I, that's not good for your soul. It's not good for your heart. <laughs> I mean, it makes your blood pressure high and probably your cholesterol bet worse than it should be. <laughs> I'm just mm -hmm. saying. Ultimately, I mean, what's worth your time sitting there, you know, obsessing about some bull crap or, you know, doing a hobby, building something. Yeah. Getting out of the game that's making you crazy and doing like for instance, if I just get pissed off, I quit playing. I'll go freaking restore an old gun, or I'll do something else, build something, make some art, something to yeah. get your mind off it. It's it's something. Uh, Truth, Bob and I were talking about uh, some time ago. Play something else. There are so many great video games out there that if you're, um, I, th I th well, uh, Ox Malexia or Insomniac had said that they had left ESO for a month and you know to get away from it all. They did other things. They probably played other other games. And when they came back, they were refreshed. They had a better perspective. If you have to step away, step away. It's gonna be there. It's an MMO, unless it's you know, unless it's already on. The, it's getting ready to sunset. Unless it's EQ two or something like that. Right, that which could be shut it's off be at fun. any time right now. We'd have no idea. Yeah. Those Russian oligarchs, they're still out there. They're on the lamb. We don't know. <laughs> Last I heard, they were probably out in Kinos uh, supporting Queen Antonia Bale for president. Oh! Uh, 
Oh, that's Lolo. serious collusion right that, there. She <laughs> she has been seen colluding with Russians. I'm just saying. I, it's, uh-huh. I I saw it on a Twitter feed somewhere. That's that's, that's where I come. <laughs> that's where I get all my information from on fake uh, presidential elections. Um, uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> mm, vote Lucandelia. Stop that. What? Vote in Maxon. I, I can't. Nuts. I can't help. Vote the guy. Penela, Penelope. What does a school teacher know about fending off raiders? I'm just saying. And what does a school teacher know about having to try to pronounce her name two or three times before she gets it right? Shut up. Oh. <laughs> and she's got a ruler. Okay. She's got a ruler. I mean, I got a laser rifle. Lucan's got a flaming sword. I and mean, what are you going to do with that ruler? I'm going to smack your hands. <laughs> yeah, there you yeah. go. That'll show you. <laughs> I'm going to give you such a weapon. You're going to really... It's going to sting. <laughs> it's going to really sting a lot. It's going to... it probably leave like a little welt. Like, you know, those little ones that... I mean, it'll be gone after five or ten minutes, but it's going to be painful for that five or ten minutes. <laughs> You know, but yeah, play other games. You know, they're like there's there's just so many great games out there. Don't don't if you if all you ever do day in and day out, it's it's something we eventually got jazz to even do. Try something yep. else. You know, play something else with the story. It, it, it'll relax you. It'll have unless of course it's uh, what I was playing recently, which is what was it? Uh, oh, within within two or whatever. I can't remember what it was called. Uh, oh, the evil within two. Not so relaxing, but still fun. <laughs> or alien isolation. Not so relaxing, not but so terrifying relaxing, and fun. But still fun. Terrifying and fun. But yeah, I think I went to Conan. Um, what was it called? Uh, Exiles. Not, Exiles. No, not Conan. Exiles. The one Age of Conan. That. Age of Conan. There we go. Mm-hmm. I went to Age of Conan, and then I went to Guild War. No, Star Wars, and then Guild Wars. I, I, don't, the I don't remember the order. But I played all, and, oh, Lo, Lo, uh, Lotro. Lord of the and, Rings. Ri- was, did you do Rift? Or, yeah, I did Rift eventually. Yeah, that one was. Too was, late, but yeah. I did Rift. I we'll actually stay. enjoyed it, but there was no RP there anymore. Yeah, so. well, it was, the, the the cities weren't really cities, and it kind of stifled a lot of that. I'm sure there's still a, probably a small community there, but this they're 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 just to drift on their own little island poor guys we should reach out to them and be like hey hey i will say sometimes playing an offline game can really get your sanity back with a yeah. fallout yeah. skyrim mass effect anything any of those really great story Finished moments forever if you're uh <laughs> what the crap is that <laughs> whoa I don't oh. know what's going on i think she just got pulled out of the matrix i think she did <laughs> she vanished forever and then was like robot voice. <laughs> yeah, I told you she was Cylon. She just no. I'm really, I'm pretty sure the robots just pulled her right out of, ass right out of the Matrix and put. Now, <laughs> now we're just we're to. just listening to a program talk. So, but yeah. So you know, in the end, rely on the people around you. you, you just think things through stop take a deep breath you know it's like a lot of things you know it's it's rough and i get it it sucks but you know there there are people out there for you we're out here for you like like i mean it really if you guys need anybody needs to reach out to us you know we if we can't get to you right away which we probably can't we all have jobs we all have other things we have going on but we will we will reply when we're able to you know best example i got for this whole episode was when I was a wee eight year old playing Legend of Zelda and or Mario Brothers and getting super angry, slamming my controller down. My mom said, "That's it, time out. Go outside, do something else." Mm-hmm. It's a lot like that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That that original Mario Brothers too. That was rough. Although I did Dude, beat it. It was rough. Yeah. Uh, so, all right. Well, I think that about does does it for for this episode. Uh, appreciate to the uh, the listener for for reaching out to us. Um, I hope if, you know, I hope this helps. I hope things get better for you. Uh, if they don't, like I said, reach out, reach out to jazz. I know you reached out to me and I'm willing to talk to you. I had only suggested reaching out to jazz cause she has a lot more experience in this than I do. Uh, and she's definitely, uh, definitely better versed in, in handling it. I can give the advice that I gave her, but she has, 
she has the firsthand experience of what it feels like and all that kind of stuff. So she's definitely a good point of interest. Uh, Strafe is is in a lot of ways as well uh, with uh, having raving lunatics try to rule his life. So he'd be a good one. Yep. <laughs> I, I don't think like I would be much of a much Sib. Of, if you're oh. if you're wanting newbie advice, because oh, I mean, come on, you've been doing it for about eight years now. You're not really yeah, a but newbie not on this topic. I'm really no. not. I would be like, uh, I can listen to you gripe, and I will. I will certainly give is, you a hug. She is a good listener, and she's very sweet. And uh, I do question her uh, choices in uh, life. However, what? <laughs> Why? What did I do? You married me. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I know. Yeah, no, yeah, no one's perfect. Not everybody but can be right like I am. You make all the me time. laugh. You make me you're gonna keep me young forever because if mm-hmm. laughter keeps you young, then by yeah, God, we'll go with that. I've cornered the market on that. Not, <laughs> not the part where I'm trying to make you kill yourself with a heart attack or lack of air through laughter. Uh, or pee it, myself. It, it Yeah, I've done that a couple times. <laughs> it's funny. So, all right. Well, anybody have any final <laughs> thoughts before we uh, kick this pig and let it let it go out in the pasture for the night? Don't kick pigs. Don't. Like we're good. She says Not on this she topic. Eats bacon. I, I do want to throw out again. If we decide to try to have an episode where, what is it called? Help me out here. It's not AMA. the cute AMA. Uh, we're gonna need you, wonderful. Just wonderful listeners, our our reason for doing this to give us some questions. How yes. did you find Hot Jessica? I thought she was booked through November. That wasn't Hot Jessica. Uh-oh. This <laughs> this Strafe oh wow. is Hot Jessica. Okay, I'm done. I stand corrected. Well, there you go. <laughs> so. Give me a clap. <laughs> Oh, all gosh. Right. <laughs> all right, all right. So, uh, appreciate everybody tuning in here at RPM Radio. This is our 55th episode. Uh, like I've said, you can join us live every uh, Saturday, 7 Central, over at twitch.tv slash RPM Radio. Uh, if you, again, if you want to call in uh, next week, uh, rpmradio.com slash Discord. Join our Discord server. Uh, we'll chat with you during the week. Uh, you know, we're the hosts up at the top so if you're ever curious which one of us is which same names all that stuff lines up uh or if you want to do it through uh the the old-fashioned way uh, rpmmoradio dot or at gmail.com over at facebook uh, twitter all that good stuff so uh with that uh once again appreciate everybody for joining us i of course am ash and phoenix and i want to thank all my crew uh, Jazz, Strafe, Sib, and of course our call screener Yunfei, which had a really easy night because nobody called in. So remember, feel free to call in. And with that, tune in next time when we'll see how many pillars it takes to crush a dozen halflings. Night, everybody. Next time on RPM Good Radio. Good night, everybody. The thoughts and opinions of those on RPM Radio are just that and should not be taken as the gospel truth, but pretty close to it. Music, as always, is provided by Husky by the Geek. Visit him at youtube.com slash huskybytheGeek to hear all his great video game rock covers and original music. <laughs>